Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Francis. And I'm Stuart. And if you are a new follower of ours, make sure you like and subscribe for all our latest content. So today is week six, and so we wanted to give you an update of exactly where we are and exactly what is going on in our lives right now. So in terms of Sam, the sickness has really kicked in. She and was the actually sick. Yeah, she was actually sick last night. And she's exhausted, so... In some ways I'm like, oh no, she's sick and exhausted, but in other ways I'm like, that means it's a healthy baby because she's really feeling the symptoms of pregnancy. Um, and we're actually going to have a six week scan. Um, it's called a reassurance scan. Yes, and that's in two days time, so when, from when we're recording this video. And it's kind of common practice in IVF. Um, but yeah, we're just so excited to kind of see what's going on. Yeah, and right now it looks a little bit like this. <laughs> wow. It's starting to look a little bit more like a tadpole rather than just a blob. You can see its little heartbeat, look. Can you see it? Oh, look. Oh my gosh. They did say that the heartbeat is not always fully detectable um, in the six week scan, so we're going to make sure we're not panicking if we don't hear a heartbeat, oh, right? Oh, of course not. <laughs> I'm just trusting and allowing the process yeah. rather than being panicked or fearful about it whatsoever because what we, there's nothing we can do other yeah. than just be grateful that we're living in a time that you can actually do this. I know, honestly, that's the, the greatest pivot that you could ever do. Yeah. You always pivot me like that. I mean, I'm not much of a worry, would you say? Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little worried, but he's really good at pivoting me back onto like, just trust the process and just repeat this affirmation. Everything, Everything always, always works, works out, out for us. us. Everything. Everything always works out for us. Everything. Oh. Oh. That's um, Stuart's mum's dog. She's like, yeah, everything always works out for us. So what we're going to do on this video today is answer the most common questions that a gay couple having a family get. And there is no question that's dumb or silly. We just want to be as open and transparent with you guys. So here we go. Here's the first question. So Stuart. Yeah. Who's the dad of this baby? So what we've decided to do, we have decided we're going to do one each. So Frank's going to have one baby and I'm going to have the other baby. But it's a question we get asked all the time and it's something that we're not too sure we actually want to share properly because we want our children to feel like they have got two dads that love them solidly without genetics getting in the way. Who's going first? So we've decided we're not going to reveal that because we just want to protect our children and we just think we want us all to feel like a family. So yeah. Is it Sam's egg? One of the things that Francis and I decided is that we didn't actually want to have any genetic DNA to someone that we actually knew. Um, so no is the, is the short answer. It is not Sam's egg. We've actually used an egg donor um, who has no attachment to the baby whatsoever. So that's something we decided to do as a family. What are you going to call yourselves? At the minute, this is a conversation me and Stuart are having. Do we call ourselves both the same name? So there's dad and dad or dad and daddy. But we're kind of considering like different variations. So I am from a European heritage. So my mum is Dutch, my dad's Norwegian. So we've been like talking about possibly using papa, papa, papa in, in Dutch or fa in Norwegian. But I'm not set on it because I live in the UK and I just, I want, if my kids are in school and they say, oh yeah, my, my dad is coming. I feel like it's so much stronger than saying my, my far is coming. They'd be like, far, what's that? Sounds like a song. Um, so the answer, I'm undecided, but I know I don't want us to be called the same thing. How many kids do you want? Two. Are you worried that Sam's gonna keep the baby? Absolutely not. She's our best friend and she said to us, like she's got two kids already, one's nine, one's 13. I definitely don't want any more babies. Um, I just want to give this gift to you guys because you can't have kids, naturally. So no, I'm not worried at all. Wakey wakey. Who's going to do the night feeds? You. I don't think so. You'll be getting up too. We're going to be sharing it. Thank you very much. Did you ask Sam or did Sam offer to be your surrogate? It's actually illegal in the UK to ask a woman to be your surrogate. So no, we didn't ask Sam. We were basically in the hot tub years ago, uh, me, Sam and a few of our friends. And we were talking, me and Francis, about having a baby. And she was like, do you know what? I would be your surrogate. But it was just a flip away comment and I didn't even think about it. And then literally fast forward a few years and we were about to have our surrogate in the, in the United States. And Sam messaged me saying, Stuart, listen, I promise you, I will be your surrogate if that's what you want. And so we were like, we would love that. Thank you. What was your reaction when Sam said she'd be our surrogate? I didn't believe her. And because we had already started working with a US company who was going to do the surrogacy for us, I wasn't sure it was the right way to go. But 
The more I thought about it, and actually now looking back, it's been the best decision because we've been able to, you know, be with her, know her as a friend, attend appointments, so I'm so happy we're doing it this way. Is this process free? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no way, I wish it was. In the UK, you actually can't pay a surrogate, so that part is free. Um, but in the US, we have spent around about 67,000 pounds in the process of having this baby. What do you think about 67,000 pounds on a baby? All I think about is if our kids ever complain, I'm gonna be like, honey, you cost us 67,000 pounds. <laughs> It's a lot of money and you know me and Stuart are fortunate enough to have you know work, well we've worked really hard on our business to be able to you know even have this decision and this opportunity this choice I suppose not every couple does but we just we wanted it so much to be our children so that's why we chose this route. Because you're both gay yeah. do you think your babies will be more inclined to be gay? I really hope so. <laughs> I would absolutely love a gay, gay family. Um, but the thing about us is that we're not going to judge. No matter what they are, no matter who they present themselves as being, they have come to this planet as an amazing human being, ready for a life experience, and we're going to give them that. Bet you will. What are you most excited about, about being a dad? I'm excited about having a purpose every single day to take care of this human being, bring them up, teach them about the world, have fun, go on adventures, I'm just, I'm just so, so ready for all of that. Will you get a nanny? I don't think we will get a nanny. No. I personally really want to be really involved with our kids and who knows, we might seek help or get extra help, but right now I want to be there for every moment. We'll see how long that lasts. Will you feed your kids sweets? <laughs> really good question. I really care about food, so I will definitely choose the right food, but I'm not going to deny them sugar or sweets because I think when you deny kids that, then they just want it more later. So there'll definitely be a balance. My parents kind of let us have naughty things on the weekend, so I might do the same thing. Do you think you'll be the daddy that will give them sweets when Francis is away? 100%. Have you chosen your baby pram yet? No is the answer. There just seems to be so many different brands out there with like, it's actually a minefield, so we're going to wait until the shops are open. Kids, if you're watching this, we are in lockdown and there are no shops open right now. Can you even imagine? So as soon as they open, we are going to be there's sh pram shopping. Francis, what will you do if our kids are straight? <laughs> I'm just going to be so happy whatever they want to be. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is if I have to spend like or Saturday mornings outside in the cold while they're playing rugby or something like that. But honestly, I'll be happy with any child. What would you say to people looking into surrogacy, adoption, fostering as an option, what would you say to do? I would just say, go and do your research. And the first thing that I actually did was go on Instagram, go on social media and kind of like find other people that are doing the same thing as you and ask them questions. People that are in this process that are doing this are so ready to help you. And I think that that is the best way to kind of like learn and get some knowledge. Why did you choose surrogacy over adoption? Because we really wanted to have our own kids. And I feel like as gay people, we don't have that, you know, well, we do have that choice. You know, a lot of people suggest adoption. Of course, it's an amazing thing, and we know that's the right choice for many people, but there's just some, there was just something in both me and Stuart that we really wanted that genetic connection to our own children, so yeah. So we're trying to record, but this little one is making so much noise. She keeps screaming and crying. Like, <laughs> so this is Stuart's mum's dog. dog. So Hayley is going to be sat on our laps with Dolly. With Dolly. Dolly's, a, Dolly's the dream. So to finish off Stuart, we're just going to play a game of quick fire questions and we just have to point to either ourselves or the other person if we think they're going to be the dad that's going to be more like that. Okay, got it? Yeah. Who will be more organised? Who will be more patient? Who will pack the baby bag? Who will change more nappies? Who will be more fun? Who will be the parent that the other parent will say, go ask your dad to? I'll say that with you. Who will dress them? Who will do their hair? Who will sleep most? Who is more excited? Who will be more pushy, as in the pushy parent? Who's going to read them bedtime stories? Who will make them dinner? Who will teach them to dance? 
who will be stricter? <laughs> we really hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Please like and subscribe. And next week we've got a really exciting video to it's share with you. It's the scan! It's a six week scan, so oh my God. so excited. I'm so excited. We're not too sure if it's gonna be a vaginal scan or a scan across the belly. I know, but luckily the place that we're going to is allowing us, and we're having a COVID test before, is allowing us to go in there, which As I think- two dads, because the first place we called, we're like, ah, ah. I know. It says no, and we were like, no. We hate the word no. You can't, this can't be. We were even considering like Noah as a girl's or boy's name, but we were like, we just we hate, hate the, the word, word no. no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for following along with our journey. Make sure to follow us on Instagram as well, and we have more updates on there too. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye.